be great to have you. Wow, this is fantastic. Great to see all of you up here. And I love the message we just heard from our praise singers about how Jesus loves us. And I want to tell you a story right now about um, just a story from a country a long way away from here and happened a long, long time ago. There was a king who wanted to have somebody who could follow him as king or queen of his country. And usually that would go to his son or his daughter, but he didn't have any sons or daughters. And so he thought about what he should do, and he decided one day, I know what I can do so I can figure out which one of the many boys and girls in my whole kingdom will be the next king or queen. And so he had all of them one day line up at his castle and they were all the way out the door of the castle, all the way around the castle, and all the way down the road from the castle, and all the way through the whole town. This long line of children. One after the other, they came before the king. And each one, when they came, he, he handed them a little pot of dirt and a seed. And he said, I want you to take that seed and to plant it and then to take care of it. No matter what happens, I want you to take really good care of it and just see what happens. And then at the end of the summer, bring back this pot and whatever happens, I want you to bring it to me to show me. And so the summer went on and boys and girls were watering their plant and they were feeding it with some fertilizer and stuff to try to make it grow. But none of the plants started to grow. And so as the summer went on and they really wanted to be the next king or queen, they started thinking, well, what are we going to do? And one of the boys said, I know what I'm going to do. And he went out and he got a big, beautiful flower out of his mom's garden. And he, <laughs> and he put it in the pot. And somebody else saw that. And he said, oh, I think I'm going to go get this really pretty little flower and put it in my pot. And over the rest of the summer, all the, almost all the boys and girls got different things to put in their pot because even though they were watering it and taking care of it, nothing was happening. Well, the day came when the king called all the boys and girls back and said, come on, let's go. I want to see what you have for me. And so they lined up there at the castle all the way out the door of the castle and around the castle and down the road and through the town all these boys and girls. And as they came up, each one brought their little pot. And one of them had this beautiful little flower that was growing. Another one had a big, bright flower. And each one had something growing out of their pot. But one girl, when she came up, she had talked to her mom that day and said, Mom, everybody's bringing beautiful flowers. I don't know how they did it. I've been watering it. I've been taking care of it. And, and nothing's growing, and I don't know what I should do. And her mom said, well, what did the king tell you to do? He said, to bring what I've got to him. Okay, you're going to bring what you got to him, right? And she said, yeah. She said, you, I've got to be honest. And so she came up to the king kind of shaking a little bit, like, I really didn't do a good job. I've got this, this pot of dirt here. And the king had this big smile on his face. He said, you know, the seeds that I gave to all the boys and girls, they'd been boiled. They couldn't grow. I wanted to see who would be honest. I wanted to see who would take care of that seed and that pod as nicely as they could, no matter what happened. Because I want the next king, the next queen, to be somebody who will take care of my people, be honest with them and care for them, no matter what happens. That's their job. And so she became the next queen. Isn't that great? And you know, it reminds me of what Jesus talks to us about. That he says, no matter what happens, I want you to be honest. I want you to care for each other, to be kind to other people, even if they don't say thank you, 
Even if when you do something nice, they don't do something nice back to you. It's just who we are as children of the king. It's children of God. God wants us to be kind and good and honest, no matter what anybody else does. So I want you to remember, Jesus loves you, and he wants you to show his love to others. Let's pray for just a minute. Lord Jesus, thank you so much that you love us so much, even when we don't deserve it, even when we don't say thank you. You are kind and good and loving to us. Help us to become more and more like Jesus, and to be kind and loving to one another and to all of our neighbors. We pray in Jesus' name, amen.